And now I join Coach Tim Kraft after his victory today against the Radford Highlanders here at home. Coach Kraft, because of this, you're now in first place all by yourself here in the Big South. And you beat a team that was pretty hot coming in to today, undefeated in conference play. First and foremost, I wanted to start out rebounding battle. You out-rebound them by nine. Lasan Nyongane, new career high, 12 rebounds, and eight of those being offensive. How important was it to have that kind of success on the boards today? Well, that was huge because um, Radford's the best offensive rebounding team in the league. So, you know, with our keys, that was the very first thing was it's going to be a war on the boards. And, um, you know, we needed five guys to gang rebound the ball, and we needed to, to do a great job of that. And in the first half, we did a really good job. Uh, the second half, there was a stretch there where they really beat us up, and, and they closed the gap quick, cut it to two, and uh, we were able to respond and, and make, a, make a nice run to give ourselves a little bit of a lead. And, and then um, – uh, but, but, you know, to answer your question, rebounding was critical in this game. We knew it was going to be. And um, Lasan had a huge effort there on the offensive glass as well. And you talked about your success there in the first half. In the first half, holding this Highlander team to only 23% from the floor. As you said again, in the second half, able to cut the gap just a little bit more. What was Radford able to do there in the second half to give you guys fits? Well, I think for one, they got second shots. Um, but they got good players. Radford's really good. There's a reason why they came in here at 4-0 and and had beaten teams badly, and they got good players. And uh, we cer we certainly uh, made some mistakes and made our share of mistakes, but, but they got good players making plays, and they're really hard to guard. And for a stretch there, they got going. They got it inside to the big fella, Phillips, and uh, Polite got some things going, made a three, and, and got, got some uh, stuff to the rim. And um, then they were able to get some threes even with Tanner. So, um, you know, you know they're going to do that because they're good, a good team. Um, we were up whatever it was, 11 or 12 at half. And, you know, you don't go back out there necessarily thinking, you know, this is going to be easy. You, you know that they're going to come back and throw a punch, and, and they did, and they fought like crazy and um, closed the gap. Again, we were able to kind of get that lead, a little bit of a lead, and then they, then they closed it again. We made some poor decisions down the stretch in the last three minutes. And, um, you know, obviously they had a shot to win the game. And, um, thankfully, they missed, and, and we guarded them pretty good, and we rebounded the ball. Coach, you broke the press pretty well in the second half uh, this evening. What was it that you guys saw in film? At times, it looked like you guys were able to break the press without even thinking about it. Other times, it seemed like you struggled a bit more. Turner and O'Reilly in the middle of all that. Yeah, yeah, I think we were okay with that, you know, for, for the, the most part of the game, most of the game. The deal is, like, we broke it. But then what did we do when we broke it? When we broke it, we had, we had two turnovers. Um, uh, you, know, we, we, you know, four times when we broke it easily, we had two turnovers and then two quick threes that we missed. So now they're going right back on the other end. So, um, you know, didn't do a great job there. Um, and then late in the game, you know, we just we, we struggled a little bit to get the ball in bounds and had a couple turnovers in the press. And, um, you know, credit Radford. They were flying around. They were doing a good job. We got to be a little better, a little more poised. Um, but, um, you know, 20 turnovers for us is obviously, you know, you're lucky to win with that kind of game. But I think what, um, you know, what it speaks to on a positive note is how good we were defensively, you know, that kept us in the game. And I think we won the game with, with rebounding, defense, and toughness. And uh, we were able to overcome some of those, uh, those turnovers and, and, and offensive mistakes. Coach, finally, Liam O'Reilly leader of your team, 38 minutes for him today, also led your team with 17 points, hit some big shots. How crucial was it to have that leadership in such a tight conference game today? Yeah, I mean, it's it really good. You know, I, I think, he, you know, he's a great leader out there. Dave gives us great leadership out there. We've got guys that believe in themselves, believe in their teammates, believe in what we're doing. Um, and, and they had to step up and make some plays late. And, um, you know, it's a huge shot that Liam made late in the clock coming off the ball screen. And, um, you know, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a competitor. Uh, he's got a lot of fight, a lot of grit, and uh, we needed every bit of it tonight. Coach, you guys head out Monday, Martin Luther King Day matchup against Winthrop. You're all by yourself, Coach. Congrats on the win tonight. Congrats on first place. Thanks a lot. I don't know what, you know, I don't know what first place really does. We're, now that we're, what, were we five games into this deal? So a lot of basketball to play. Yes, but, uh, but at least – you know, we're, we're, it's good to be there and it's good to be 4-1. and one. we got a great start and, uh, you know, proud of our guys.